Today, I want to talk all about member retention. So memberships survive on member retention. If you're losing more members than you are bringing in, then your membership, unfortunately, will not last very long. You need to have a plan in place for retaining your members for months and years. And unfortunately, too many people who are new to memberships, they think that once they've got that sale, the job is done. But with memberships, the work is just beginning. So I'm going to share with you my five top tips for improving retention and reducing churn. We're going to dive in in just a sec. Five top tips for improving retention and churn. First tip, you need to make sure that you have a solid process for dealing with failed payments. A large proportion of people who leave your membership site will actually do so involuntarily because their payments have failed and they failed enough times that their payment processor, their credit card provider, or if you're using something like PayPal, cancels their subscription. So this is called involuntary churn. You need to make sure you have a process in place to deal with that. Now that process is something called dunning. And there are various options that you have for implementing something that takes care of this dunning process. Some membership plugins and systems actually have dunning features built in. So MemberPress, for example, they actually have something built in whereby they will send out emails to anyone whose payment fails. You want to go one further, there's a great service called Churnbuster. Again, that's something that just takes things a little further in terms of the email follow-up that gets sent out to people whose payments are failing to try to get them to take the necessary steps to update their payment information and to get their subscription back on track. If you wanna add a personal touch, there's a service called Gravy. And Gravy will actually have people reach out and get in touch with your members. So they'll actually call them up and help them to sort out any failing payments. So tip number one to improve your retention, make sure you have a process for dealing with failed payments. Tip number two, find ways to improve the consumability of your content. If you just dump your members into this never-ending sea of stuff, this constant barrage of content, or this huge library, they're going to get overwhelmed. If they're overwhelmed, they're never really going to get started on actually consuming your content, getting results, making progress. So you need to find ways in which you can make your content easier to consume. You wanna try and make sure your content is delivered in bite-sized chunks. So if you're creating courses, you don't want your lessons to be any more than 10 to 15 minutes in length at the very most. Also wanna make sure that any content library that you have is easy to search. And if you've got a lot of content, has filters. There's plugins out there for WordPress that enable you to do that. A great one is uh, one called Facet WP that will enable you to add more advanced filtering options to your library that can make it much easier for people to quickly get to the things that they need. And if you can do that, your content library becomes easier to consume. People are more likely to use it. And as a result, they're more likely to get results to stick around and so on. You can also consider giving people an organized roadmap whereby you actually give people this pathway step by step of what content to consume in what order according to where they are in their journey. Something similar is a recommendation engine where people can plug in a little bit of information about their situation, their needs, their priorities, and that then can produce a page on which you give recommendations on what content to start with. Gravity Forms is a great WordPress plugin that can actually be used to do that. And if you're a member of Membership Academy, we've got a little tutorial that shows you how to create this sort of recommendation engine using Gravity Forms. Things like this that can help you to increase the consumability of your content to reduce overwhelm and increase the chance that people actually use what they're paying for goes a long, long way. People aren't using what they're paying for. They're not going to pay for it for very long. Third tip, find a way, if possible, to give every member a quick win early in their journey with you. So if within the first week or the first month that someone is a member, if they can follow 
a really specific, really short, actionable piece of content, course, tutorial, and get an actual tangible result. That works like gangbusters for increasing the chances they'll stick around long term because you're basically showing the proof that you can help them to achieve what they want to achieve and you're delivering that result really early on. Some topics are easier to create these quick win pieces of content for than others, but look at whether there's anything within the scope of your membership that you can deliver fast and you can deliver early that has the highest chance of giving someone a real, measurable, tangible result. If you can deliver that in those initial weeks that someone's a member, then that builds a massive amount of trust in you and it makes it far more likely that people will want to engage with your membership further so that they can keep getting more and more results, bigger results, bigger wins. Tip number four, enable your members to actually manage their own subscriptions. A lot of membership owners get a little nervous at this because when I talk about letting people manage their own subscriptions, we mean let people choose to cancel their subscriptions if they want. So if someone wants to leave your site, they should be able to go into their account and click a button that lets them cancel without having to jump through any hoops, without having to call a premium rate phone number to speak to a sales agent who will really trying to pressure them to stick around. That sort of stuff is counterproductive. If you allow people to manage their own subscription, then yes, it will be easier for people to cancel. But the truth is when someone is looking for the cancellation button, it's probably too late anyway. So if you start making people jump through hoops and if you make the cancellation process unnecessarily difficult, then that's going to backfire because that person might actually just be thinking that they're just going to leave but come back in a few months time maybe they need to leave because they're having temporary cash flow issues or maybe they are having health issues and they need to take a break or something else is a priority in the short term they might be coming back in a few months time but if you burn your bridges with them on the way out then that's going to hurt your chance that they'll come back and then of course if you let people manage their own subscription then that can include the ability for them to update their credit card details, which in turn will decrease the chance that you're going to get failed payments. So that's tip four, enable members to manage their own subscription. And then the final tip, ensure that you are conducting an exit survey. So when people are going to leave, make sure you're collecting feedback from them on their reasons why they're going. Two big benefits to this. First of all, if you even if you can't salvage that subscription the feedback that you get can help to identify fixes that you could make to your membership that will improve your churn for other members the second benefit of conducting an exit survey is that it gives you a last gasp attempt to convince people to stay especially if you're using something like Gravity Forms where you can get a little clever with it. If someone selects a particular cancellation reason from the a drop down list of possible reasons they were leaving, that can actually mean that you can show them a little message or a little video that perhaps gives them some suggestions for stuff to try out before they make their final decision. So five things everyone should be doing. Number one, ensure you have a solid process for handling failed payments. Number two, find ways to increase and improve the consumability of your content, how well it's organized, how it's structured, how it's presented to avoid overwhelm. Number three, find a way of giving members a quick win early in their journey. Number four, enable your members to manage their own subscriptions. Retention needs to be more sophisticated than just hiding the cancel button. And five, ensure you're conducting an exit survey with your members. If you want more tips, you want more pointers, head on over to themembershipguys.com slash retention and you can download our checklist of, I think there's 40 or 50 different tips and ideas that you can try out, you can implement in your own membership to improve retention and reduce churn. So head on over the membershipguys.com slash retention to download that freebie today. Thank you.